The Canary in the Coal Mine Years ago, miners would keep small chirping canaries deep in the bowels of underground mines. These birds were first warnings of poisonous gases that could kill the miners. If these gases, if gases filtered into the mines, the birds would die, warning the miners to get out. Over the years, when someone has said that an action or a result is like a canary in a coal mine, it was meant as a dire warning. Recently, one of the largest insurers in Texas went to the Texas Insurance Commissioner in secret, asking the commissioner to approve an arbitration provision in Texas homeowners insurance policies that they want to sell to Texans depending upon their homeowners policies for catastrophic losses from wind, fire, hail, and other losses. Like canaries in a coal mine, Texas Watch and the Office of Public Insurance Council, or OPIC, have sounded an alarm with a good reason. Arbitration is a private resolution for disputes. No judge, no jury, just a paid decider of disputes. Arbitration is held in secret. Its results are secret, and there is typically little to no real review of the results. It is exactly the kind of process that is ripe for abuse, particularly when the decider is hired and paid for by one party that it sees over and over and over. Folks with big secrets and those wanting to systemically influence the results want someone they can hire as the decider. There are occasions with large commercial disputes when arbitration can make sense. Arbitration in consumer conflicts, however, like credit card disputes or disputes with your insurance company, when the parties are not on equal footing and when, when they cannot negotiate the contract, is really not one of them. You see, insurance is special and it's different than most other kinds of disputes. Insurance, like banking, is considered a public trust as well as a private business. Our economic lifeblood would not flow without an ability to safely move and transfer funds, nor would it flow without the ability to transfer risk of loss through insurance. Now what do I mean by public trust? The best way to explain it is with an example. Imagine that you entered into a contract with your bank, that you would deposit funds into that bank and that the bank could use those funds until you needed it, and that when you needed the funds, you could withdraw them. Sounds familiar, right? The ability to safeguard your funds and your ability to access those funds is so important to your personal economy and to the economy in general that it would be unthinkable that if when you needed those funds to pay your mortgage, your doctor, make a car payment, or whatever it is you need the money for, that you should have access to those funds then, without hassle, without negotiation, without the need to hire a lawyer, to get what you have contracted with the bank to get. Imagine if in response to writing a check or going to the counter and withdrawing cash, your bank said, I see that you have $1,000 in your account, but I will only give you $700, and I'm only going to give you that money if you renounce your right to the remaining $300. What recourse do you have? How would it hurt your economy and the economy of every business and individual that you do business with if your bank extorted part of the value of your deposit when you actually needed the money they contracted to keep safe and later give back to you. Insurance is designed to work like banking. You pay premiums to insure against a large loss, like say, your home burning down. The insurance company is paid a premium and in return agrees to pay for the covered loss. No bad faith haggling, when the value of the loss is proven, 
No delays, just to hold on to the money. No extortion is allowed. Unlike banking, however, there are often disputes about the value of an item, whether an item is damaged, and importantly, was the insurance company acting fairly and in good faith when contesting items that the insurance company contracted to pay for. Who should decide these disputes? It has been the public policy of the state of Texas for the entire history of the Texas Department of Insurance that disputes with your own insurance company are to be decided by a judge or jury to ensure fairness in the process of evaluation and to have light of day shown to prevent systemic underpayments and what amounts to extortion. Why is it a good idea to have a public judge and or jury hear these disputes? Arbitration in the consumer insurance arena would mean that the insurance company would pick who decides the question, would pay who decides the question, and would appear over and over and over before these deciders that they have hand chosen and paid for. As the executives of tobacco companies proved years ago, it's really hard to find a fact that harms one's own pocketbook. Consumer arbitration and other areas of law that do not involve public trust have built a record of poor service to the consumer, enriching the companies who require arbitration provisions in their contracts. What's more, arbitration is by its very nature a secret proceeding that's not subject to any real review from the courts, nor the public disclosure of the underlying facts, which can motivate appropriate reforms as they are needed. While I'm not saying that the particular insurance company wanting these provisions would abuse its customers, it's clear that once the insurance commissioner allows the arbitration provision the first time, others will follow. Abuses will follow, and hardworking Texans who thought they were contracting to have their homes repaired and their lives rebuilt after a disaster will face another financial disaster when their insurance company says you paid 100%, you paid for 100% of your damages. We're only going to pay you 70 or 60 or 50% of your damages. If you don't like it, then you can get a private secret determination from our chosen decider. And there's not one thing you can do about it. Many other states rightly understand these dangers and have expressly banned all arbitration clauses in insurance contracts. Please join me. Go to Texas Watch. Log on to sign their petition to the Texas Department of Insurance Commissioner urging that this secret attempt to take away Texans' rights be expressly disallowed. If you don't take action now, you will have no one but yourself to blame in a few years when every carrier has these policies and will not sell a policy without the insurance company being able to choose the decider of any disputes.